Hello, beautiful people. Good afternoon. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back from a short holiday. Um, my name is Anastasia McDonald, and I am the talk show host of this program, Who's Your Daddy? series. I'm going to do something slightly different, um, perhaps in two series this afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, Queen, if you're my, and oh, lovely, Chibia. <laughs> How are you? How's this one? Hey, Queen Julie, so much joy. You got so much joy. Good afternoon, Queen Justine. Lovely to see you all. <laughs> You've been waiting. I've been waiting for you too. Good afternoon, my Queen Stella. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a... um. A love. We're gonna have a lovely time in his presence. Um, so uh, welcome to my talk show, which is um, Who Is Your Daddy series. But we are going to be doing something slightly different. So I'm going to give it a bit a different twist. Good afternoon, Pastor Chris. <laughs> Good afternoon. So lovely to see you, kings and queens. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a special on my life story upgrade special. Um, experiencing and knowing God through my best mentor, Dr. Sunday Adelaja. <laughs> Good afternoon, Queen. Queen Maiwa. <laughs> Good afternoon, Kings. I haven't seen the Kings yet. With a, oh, there's one King arriving. Oh, the Kings are arriving. King John and King Joseph. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and my lovely, lovely son, King Paul. And oh, D. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, good afternoon for all of you who are joining me right now. Um, I'm taking a, a slight twist to what I do with my talk show, as in the Who, Who Is Your Daddy series. And today and perhaps the next two weeks, I'm going to be concentrating on what I've called um, My Life Story Upgrade Special. Upgrade Special. And I'm going to be sharing with you what I have learned um, by the time I spent, uh, you know, spent with uh, Dr. Sandy Adelaja uh, during the 23rd um, anniversary of his church and MH, uh, HMT, sorry, but particularly the time after HMT, um, living with him, uh, the examples I saw which reflected the heart of the Father. So I feel very strongly about this. Um, and I believe that Daddy God has a message for every one of you. So I pray that the Lord God will open your hearts and mind and you will take exactly what it is that he wants to share you know, on your hearts. And I'm very, very excited. I, I don't think I felt so, uh, I don't want to use the word burden, but so, um, so passionate about what I want to share with you, because really all this is coming from the heart of daddy, daddy, daddy God. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to introduce myself very really briefly. Uh, for those, you know, for the new viewers that may watch now or the replay. So my name is Anastasia McDonald, spelled M-A-C-D-O-N-L-D. Um, I have done a life story series, which you can find on Facebook on Anastasia McDonald. And a big shout out to Queen Maywa, who helped me upload my videos onto YouTube. Thank you so much, Queen Maywa, for helping me out. You're such a star. Uh, you know, and you know, I reserved that for another time. And so, uh, yeah, for you to watch um, the previous um, uh, videos that I, I did, they're now on YouTube at Anastasia McDonald and uh, My Life, My Story, My Business. <laughs> and so, yeah. But today, as I've announced, I'm going to be sharing with you what it is, what I learned personally. This is after HMT, when, you know, you guys are gone and I live, you know, in the home of um, Dr. Sunday Adelaide. I'm going to start from the beginning. So this may take uh, one, two, or three series. <laughs> take one, two, three. So I'm just going to ask you uh, briefly to, to stop and to share, you know, share, share, share share with somebody or invite them to come and watch come and watch them um, this um this special uh uh piece over here so here's the deal um on the on the i think the 30th of march um i headed for ukraine 
uh, Kiev, Ukraine, uh, to be uh, part of um, Dr. Sunday, um, his 23rd anniversary. The church was celebrating their 23rd anniversary in Ukraine. And after that, there was um, what we call history makers training. It's an intensive day uh, um, leadership training um, oh, course. And uh, so after that, I was, I had an extra week and some days uh, to still to be with Pastor Sunny. So I'm going to start from right from the airport and um, I'm going to step into my role as an artist and paint vivid images on, on your imagination so that you're able to capture, you know, the heart of the father what it is that he was teaching to teaching me specifically and i want my joy to be your joy 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 so much joy so much joy so much joy <laughs> i want my joy <laughs> and your joy good afternoon pastor uche chuku and queen jane lovely to have you kings and queens you're such a wonderful family and i cannot thank god enough daddy god for your presence so we're going to start from the beginning and um here are the lessons i've learned so i'll be looking at my laptop to take you through my journey now um we're going to be needing, just let me hold it a second, my mobile phone seems to be falling down, so I need to adjust it. I beg your pardon. <laughs> so um, when we look at um, Luke, we're going to need our Bibles here. So when we look at Luke 13, 20, the Bible says that, what can I say the kingdom of God is like? What can I say the kingdom of God is like? What What is it like? Obviously, uh, Jesus was sharing heavenly truth and he needed to do that in in terms of an earthly way to be able to portray this into the hearts and the minds of people so that's what i'm going to do in the, going to be sharing with you um in luke 13 verse 18 it says um what is the kingdom of god like it says the kingdom of heaven is like a tiny grain of mustard seed it is like so jesus was using an analogy he said it is like this but it is not the mustard seed but it is like the mustard seed and then um um in mark 4 30 the bible says that how shall we picture the kingdom of god how do we picture the kingdom of god he says how shall we picture it i'm reading these brief scriptures to you because i'm going to be painting images on on your mind and your heart of the father the things that he taught me through Dr. Sandy Adelaja. And then um, in Matthew 13, 13, it says the kingdom of God is like yeast. So the kingdom of God is not yeast itself. It is like yeast. It's like yeast. So I've just read four scriptures uh, just to explain to you how Jesus would speak to his people using imagery, you know, heavenly things to, 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 to you know, simple people so that they could so they could get the truth so now i'm gonna start i'm gonna start my journey um i i don't know how to say but there is something that holds dear to my heart about mirroring when i say mirroring i mean reflection i mean i mean um image and you know that uh, the Bible says that we were made in the image and in the likeness of God. So there's, there's there are things about God, there are things about his nature, there are things about his personality, there are things about his expression that, you know, that we, that he, that is reflecting, that is reflecting in our lives. And Dr. Sunny has done a whole good, a whole teaching on that. So that we are, uh, we are the reflectors. Of his image. Now, when I stayed in with um, Dr. Sandy Deleja, I saw reflections. I saw reflections from Daddy God through Dr. Sandy Deleja towards me. So, from the airport, from the airport, point and lesson number one was the airport pickup. Airport pickup. Point number one, airport pickup you are already known by name you are already known by name i'm going to read a scripture the bible says in john chapter 10 verse 14 the message it says that i am the good shepherd i know my sheep and my sheep know me i know my sheep 
and my sheep know me. Now, you'll be surprised, because I was surprised that, good afternoon, Lady Nkiro, Queen Nkiro, Queen Chiwe, good afternoon, my beautiful sisters, good afternoon, everyone who's joined me out there. The first time I went uh, to Kiev and I was met at the airport, I was pleasantly shocked and surprised that Igor, who came to pick me up, knew me. He knew me by name. And it wasn't just about, okay, I'm coming to pick up somebody called Anastasia. You know, the way he responded, he, he knew me as, as, a, as a mentee, as somebody special to Dr. Sunday Adelaja. So when I got there, I, I didn't even recognize him. He recognized me. <laughs> he recognized me at the airport, you know. And when I got close to him, I said, how do you know me? And he said, I know you. I know you on DSA platform. And he wasn't like, okay, I know a name. I know a name. It was like, you are known. You are known. You are already known in the family of DSA. You are already known. You are part of the family. That was like, that was like daddy god saying that daughter daughter you are already know good afternoon queen ty you and pastor irene thank you for joining me live and uh, you know the feeling was like daddy daddy was saying like daughter anastasia you are known you are known by me i'm your daddy i know your name i made you and so I'm talking about the airport, so I haven't even gotten home to Dr. Sunday Jale's home. I was all the way I was, uh, the way I was recognized, the way I was welcomed, and it said, "I know you." I said, "How do you know me?" I was like, "How? Like you, you shouldn't know me." But it's like, "Yeah, I know you. You're Anastasia, but how do you know me? I know you on the DSA platform." It was like, "I know you. You're part of DSA family." So. Point number one, you are already known by Daddy God. Just at the airport, Daddy God had begun to paint a strong, vivid image. And every one of you be surprised that you are known by DSA. He may not, you know, necessarily um, attach names to faces particularly, but so long as you're part of the family, you are welcome, you are known, you are embraced, you are his very special mentee. Your his very special mentee. So it was there was no awkwardness at the airport because you know how it is when you are going to a new place or a new um you're going to see somebody new. So there is that awkwardness because you don't know the person, or there's that inhibition, or there's that, you know. You know what it is so you because you, okay so you feel kind of shy or or quiet or maybe slightly intimidated good afternoon maya you know so you have all those feelings so but this was nothing it was like i know you i know you anastasia i know you meanwhile i don't met ego and it was like um let me move on to point number two it felt like ego felt like an, a messenger angel now you know that daddy god has messenger angels who are always going up and down up and down from from heaven to fulfill the heart's desire of the father you know that as children of god you know you read your bible we've got he's got messengers and at that time it felt like ego was like he was like an angel quote unquote an angel messenger representing dsa so representing the father the spiritual father to, you know, doing his wishes, doing his desire to come and pick up his daughter, to bring her, to bring me home. So there was no awkwardness. If there was a strong sense of uh, being of a very important family. So Ego and the second time, which was Alex, just felt like messenger angels, special messenger angels who were doing the bidding of uh, DSA, Dr. Sandra Adelaja, and to come and bring their special daughter home. So I've shared with you so far two truths. So you are already known by name, just as you're already known by Daddy God. Your name is written on the palm of his hand. <laughs> now, Didi says, I felt the same way the first day I met Queen Anastasia. <laughs> I knew you before I actually went. In fact, there is this thing, I don't know whether you know, 
um, there is this thing with DSA family. So long as you're a member of DSA family, you're already known. I don't need to meet you to know you. I don't need to meet you physically to embrace you. I don't need to. I didn't need to touch you to um, to know that you're my sister or you're my brother. But so long as you're part of um, uh, uh, DSA uh, mentorship or family, then we have kindred spirit. And so it is, you know, in the kingdom of God. So long as you bear the title of princess or or king of Daddy God, then we are we are we are family. We are family now. One moment, please. Let me get some water because my throat is dry. Hmm. Now, this holds a very special place in my heart. The reason being that, and for those of you who've watched my life story, my life story, you know, I didn't grow up with a dad. I didn't have any sense of family. You know my story. And for those of you who don't know my story, like I said, as I've already announced, it's now on YouTube to the lovely, 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 encouraging and helpful work of Queen Maya. So it's on YouTube. If you go to um, Anastasia McDonald, MAC, you'll find this. So because I didn't have that, all these things holds very dear and i know that daddy god is doing very something very special so that i can share this to the world so that they too can feel special too so i've mentioned you're already known you're already known you don't need to meet dsa in the flat you don't need to meet uh the the, the, the people that work with dr sandana you're already welcome and known and it's such an amazing and so i'm going to move from the airport and you're an airport you're not allowed to pick up your suitcase no 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 everything they do everything for you so lovingly so tenderly so care full of care full of attention oh my goodness in all the 30 years that i've been a christian i have never seen such tender loving care from uh, from a family dsa family you know so anyway um the the, the trip to, the trip from the airport to uh dr sandy i don't just ma mansion is about an hour about yeah about an hour or so um give or take or a little bit more it's about an hour and you know there was like i said there was no awkwardness in the car and i remember during my first trip um uh dsc was doing his broadcast and um igor you know gave me his phone to watch um the broadcast because he knows how passionate i am in watching he gave me his, i mean who would do that he gave me his phone to watch and i said oh this is really really nice <laughs> This is really, really nice. I haven't arrived yet, but you know, I'm feeling so, so special. So anyway, uh, let's get to, um, let's get to the entrance of Dr. Sandy Adelaja. Um, and for those of you who are joining me live, um, uh, my name is Anastasia McDonald and I'm the talk show host of, you know, this program that I do called Who Is Your Daddy series. If you want to know more about me, go to um, my YouTube channel at Anastasia McDonald. Uh, but today I'm taking a different twist. Um, I'm not doing a talk show. I am sharing, I'm doing a, a My Life Story upgrade. Um, experiencing and knowing God better through my mentor, Dr. Sandy Adelaja, who lives in Kiev, Ukraine. So now guys, um, we are entering, we're getting to Dr. Sandy's um, home, his mansion. So, <laughs> so you are met with, um, you are met with this gigantic gates, gates, gates. And this can be likened to, I've never been to heaven, I've never been to heaven, but the Bible tells us in Revelation that um, that the gates, you know, the the gates of the city of, of Jerusalem, the heaven of Jerusalem is um, the walls are high. They're really high. So if the walls are really high, then that means the gates are huge. You know, in fact, they're made of one pearl. The Bible says there are twelve gates, and each each gate is made out of gi gigantic um, pearls. So so we get to Doctor Sunday's um, his mansion, and there's this huge massive gate that meets you with beautiful ornate designs on the gates which he told me that he um he designed for um 
the, archi uh, his, uh, the, the architect or the one that built the, the gate, he, you know, I asked him about the gate and he said, yeah, he designed, he gave all the details to it. So you're made with this massive, you know, massive gate. I'm thinking, oh, gates of heaven, oh, gates of heaven, you know, <laughs> and it's not, they're, it's, they're not intimidating. They're very welcoming, very, very welcoming. So that's an analogy I'm painting to you there. So the gates of heaven and the huge gates of Dr. Sandy Adelaja, you get in the picture? Yeah? And then, so I'm gonna move on to now um, getting into. Now, when the gates open, you are welcome to this mansion. Mansions, so should, should I say mansions? <laughs> mansions, yes, mansions. So, um, the DSA's home mansion is um, it's a 60 bedroom mansion. Um, so there are two, so there are 30 bedrooms on the right hand side, which I think one is painted in blue, if I remember, <laughs> and the other one is painted in yellow, I think. <laughs> yellow, I think it's blue and yellow. So, two, uh, 30 bedrooms on the left and 30 bedrooms on the right. And guess what? In John chapter 14, verse 2, the Bible tells us that there are many rooms in my father's house isn't that great see i was picking up all these images from from daddy god so john 14 says that there are many rooms in my father's house and i'm going to prepare a place for you i will not tell you this if you want not so and another version or translation says my father's house is designed to accommodate all of you if there were no room for everyone I would not have told you that. Yes, that, that's a message. The message version says, my father's home is designed to accommodate all of you. And trust me, DSA's house is to accommodate as many as want to come and visit him or you want to stay with him. You know, he only lives in um, one tenth, one tenth of the house. So the nine tenths of his mansion is dedicated to his spiritual children. Isn't that great? Isn't that lovely? They're dedicated to the nine tenths of, of all of us who want to come and spend time with him. And people do come all over the world to spend varying time, varying, sorry, varying times with him. And I just thought this is so, so daddy God. This is so daddy God, but you know, ours is that when we, all go to be with daddy we're going to be with him permanently permanently forever you know we're going to be forever but this is just imagery i'm using to to show you the heart of the father and i i really don't know whether when um dr sandy built the, the mansion whether he was thinking it from the perspective of the father but i guess in a sense he was he was i mean who builds a mansion to live in one one tenth and to let, you know, to let out nine tenths for people. And honestly, I do not know of any pastor that has built um, accommodation within their house, their home, their setting for people to come and spend time with him. Um, this afternoon, you heard his his heart rendering, is it rendering life story? life story and now you can understand why he built a 60 bedroom mansion because he wants everybody to be part of a family he wants everybody to be special he wants everybody to 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 uh to joy what's the word to enjoy to enjoy his his presence his love his care and all these things I was seeing, I was seeing Daddy God. I was seeing the heart of Daddy God. Or should I say, I was seeing the heart of the Father, that this is what the Father is like. This is what Daddy God is like. This is what Daddy God is beaming through the lifestyle, the lifestyle of Dr. Sunday Adelaja. So anyway, so you, you're met with this looming uh, building, building, sorry. And, you, and, and then when you get there, when you get there, when you get there, there is Pastor Nat Natasha. Is it Natasha? Yeah, Pastor Nat Natasha. She is responsible for, should I say, um, boarding, accommodation. She does a lot, loads of stuff, but one of her main jobs is to look after us, the spiritual children, the mentees. And 
I remember uh, when I went in January, she was there to meet me. So loving, so kind, so ten, so tender with me. In fact, when she said to me, I've got a surprise for you. And I'm thinking, hmm, why would she have a surprise for me? I mean, I've just come. You I, Like, you know, in my mind, I'm, I'm thinking, but you don't know. But like I said, you are known by name. You are known by name. You belong, you you are DSC's children. And she said, I've got a surprise for you. And I was wondering, what, what was the surprise? Anyway, um, like you, you probably know by now that um, they had a, uh, she had a range so that I, um, I shared the room with Lady Inkiro. So Lady Inkiro, my first present, she, you know, she was my roomie. <laughs> and we had lots of fun. She was my roomie number one. <laughs> and but this time, my roomie number two was Queen Euphoma. <laughs> Queen Euphoma is a very interesting, lovely queen and character. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we had loads of fun. Guys, you need to go to Ukraine. You need to go and you need to. I'm just going to pause and say that, Lord, you know, whatever it takes, whatever it takes for you to get to, um, to be with Dr. Sanjay Denaja, I implore you, I implore you, you know, to do that, to set money aside because it's going to be worth every, oh, what is it? Every cent, every peso, every what's the what's the uh, the the the, uh, the money donation in 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 Nigeria? I know it's naira, but what is it? What is going to be worth your while? You will never remain the same. Anyway, so. I was met by Pastor Natasha. Welcome, lovely, into this place. <laughs> I'm feeling so much joy as I'm, I'm speaking with you. Oh my goodness! I think I'm even close to tears. <laughs> I have never. I have never experienced the love of Daddy God through anybody. I've never experienced the love of Daddy God through a human being until I met Dr. Sandra Adelaja and all the lovely people, his assistants, you know, his assistants. I don't even want to call them assistants. His fellow because he calls us his um his fellow. He calls us his fellow brothers and sisters. That's what he does. He calls us his brothers and his sisters, you know? Um, and the reason why I'm emotional is because in you know, all my years, you know, my, my, my life story and, um, and all the, 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 the challenges that I've been through, I've never, I've never, I've never had that. Even though I've been a Christian, you know, for 30 odd years, I've never been touched by the love of God then you know coming into contact with my mentor dr sandai delaja so this really holds really um it's very special to my heart and i pray that that as i share this with you that the joy and the love that i received that you too um will receive it too you too will share this joy so um i just want to follow what you call it so so like i said dr sandy just lives in nine nine tenths uh, sorry, sorry, one tenth of the house with his lovely wife, wife, um, Pastor Bosse, um, Pastor Bosse, and and his children. I mean, what, 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 what a lovely woman of God. I mean, who does that? Who, who, who is so special a woman, and who is so strong a woman, and who is so anointed a woman, and who is so beautiful a woman, to share their husband with the whole world who does that so pastor boss i don't know whether you're watching i don't know whether you're um you're logged in or signed in i just want to take this minute to honor you to appreciate you um for this um incredible ministry that you have uh towards the world you know <laughs> through your uh, wonderful husband thank you so much for opening your heart so that every one of us can 
come to your home, your beautiful home, and share in the love and care and the tenderness <laughs> and the mentorship of Dr. Sunday Adelaide. Uh, beside every successful man is a very successful, wonderful woman. Not behind, but alongside is a wonderful woman. So thank you very much, Pastor Bossa Adelaide. Thank you so much. I honor you this afternoon. You know. Um, <clears throat> now, so I mentioned that you are already known by name. Point one. Number two, you are you all you're already known by angelic assistance, meaning the those that work closely with Pastor Sunday Delena. Adelena, sorry. Point three, you already have access. Now this is a biggie. Oh, this is a biggie. This one is a biggie. This is when I say big, this one is big. This is one holds the most dearest to my heart. People. Beautiful people. This one holds closest to my heart. Because do you know why? Do you know why? Because that's whole dear that this holds dear to Daddy God. Daddy God is always beckoning to his children to come to him. He's always saying, Come, come, come as you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. Just come, 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 come. But you see, life has told us to run away. Life has told us not to come because of defects, because we're not good enough, because we're not beautiful enough, because we're not, we're not slim enough, because we're not intelligent enough, because we don't have this, we don't have. Life, you know, this world is, is in, in different shapes of words telling you not to come. But, you know, Daddy God always says, come boldly. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, his word says, Let us then fearlessly, confidently, and boldly draw near to the throne of grace, the throne of God's unmerited favor. Now, let me tell you something. With Dr. Sunday Adelaja, he's always drawing you close to him. Always, you heard this afternoon as he shared his life story that, you know, through the rejection, the intense and deep rejection that he experienced, that is why he has this phenomenal and deep and uh, big heart, always drawing people close to him. He always, he's always drawing people people as close as he can to, to him, except that you don't want to go, except that you don't want to draw, draw close to him you know and he is so approachable he is so endearing he loves to spend time with his spiritual children i don't really like to use a mentee because i want to make it so personal so i'm going to use spiritual children um so he loves he loves what do you call it he loves spending time with um his spiritual children and you know most of the time in fact i think it was every day he, we had time with him we had special time with him which i'm sure you saw through um the amazing vlogs of, of um uh queen mayoa while he was doing his book reviews and even when the camera was switched off he's always asking us questions questions for those of you that you don't like questions then don't go to, don't go and meet your spiritual father but i'm joking but he's always asking deep questions he's uh, encouraged you to think think at analytically to you know so that you can grow uh queen Yufoma says he's our father a big daddy maybe a grandfather <laughs> maybe a grandfather um maybe a grandfather to other people but me he's my daddy and, and i say you know he's my best mentor but you know uh, um really and truly he's the daddy that I never had, you know, and uh, uh, my daddy God has, you know, loaned a DSA as a father to me, you know, to replace, to not replace, but to, to, um, what was the word? To give me double, double, double for all the trouble that I had. Anyway, let me know to digress from what I'm saying. So um, DSA is so approachable and he's always drawing you close to him. So you already have access. I'm, I'm telling you, you know, not, not many pastors. I don't know of many pastors that give access to their members. And even if they do, it still has some kind of barriers if i can put it that way but dsa is just open open 
um, um, in his house. One of his rooms is called the VIP, um, the VIP, well, you know, and that's where he, he holds his broadcast. And so the time we were there, we would sit with him, talk with him, chat with him, <laughs> be drilled with him, <laughs> be drilled by him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys was the one who was talking about um, the way black we black people dress, how we dress in black and how we're supposed to be colorful, <laughs> to be colorful. So guys, so just let me just digress a little bit. Have you seen my fingers? <laughs> Have you seen my fingers? <laughs> my daddy says I should be colorful. So I've started painting my nails. I don't, I'm not somebody that paints my nails. So I've got some... Uh, you know, some colors going on in here. <laughs> so I'm trying to brighten up. And actually, you know, all jokes aside, you know, life, life just puts us in a box so that we stop, we stop, we stop being colorful. We stop being colorful with our personality. We stop being colorful with our our, our character. We actually, it, so, it starts from you know the childhood. The 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 the, 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 the how does it? When you start become more conscious you know through teachers through leaders through sometimes your parents the words that come out the negativity that comes out then you you be, you begin to die because you know as a child there's something special about being a child there's the gift that daddy god gives as you know when a child so look at children children are free they're liberated they are themselves there's no inhibition they can, they are the true personalities you know they are colorful they are expressive and all that that and our daddy dsa <laughs> he said he's on live being called papa because of you know what but i'm not going there but anyway our daddy our spiritual daddy he loves that when we are colorful you know he wants us to express our personality you know anyway so whilst we're there so there's no dull moment dull, dull dull moment with Dr. Sandy Adelaide. He's always helping you to, to come out of yourself, to express yourself, to be yourself, to be a personality, you know, so to stop being a biomass, a biomass being driven by, you know, being driven with the, the crowd, clueless. You don't think you, you just, you know, um, uh, operate out of your reflexes, instincts. You don't think, but now he's there to teach us to be personalities, the way that God, daddy God designed us to be. So guys, if you go to Ukraine, <laughs> just take minimum black. And if you do take black with you, make sure you've got loads of bright colors to accent to as was the word accentuate your personality. So let your beauty come out. Okay. So that's you know. So you already have access with um, Dr. Sandy Adelaide. You, you just feel at home. You just, and I remember uh, when I went um, the first time, I remember telling him that for the first time in my life, I feel at home. At home, I can't, I can't describe it. I can't put it into uh, words, but I feel I now know what home is like. Now, I'm not talking about my home. Obviously, I feel at home with my home and my husband and my children. So, but I'm, I'm talking about uh, the, 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 the king, this mm, Chris, Christianity. Anyway, so when I said that to him, he says, because you have entered the kingdom. So guys, there's a difference between the church and the kingdom. And if you remember, he did a series on, um, uh, the difference between the church and the kingdom. The the church is um is what do you, how do you put it again? I've forgotten what is the, the terminology. Um, uh, the church is uh, I've forgotten the word, but the kingdom of God is absolute. If anybody can remind me, what what uh, the, the word that he used there? You know, the church will come and go. So somebody can open a church today called um, um Anastasia International Ministry and. Maybe 10, 20 years down the line, Anastasia International Ministry may not be there. So churches come and go, but the kingdom of God is absolute. The kingdom of God shall reign forever and ever and ever and ever. And so his home is like the kingdom of God. I'm not saying that it is the kingdom of God, but it is like the kingdom of God. So I'm painting a picture here. So you just feel at home. You feel 
part of this lovely, wonderful family. No inhibitions there. And I'm telling you, I, I don't want to jump ahead of myself, you know. Um, so I beg your pardon. Let me just take a sip of water. Yeah, Queen Queen D says wear bright colors, colorful accessories to complement to complement your black. Yes, so if you're gonna wear black in your daddy's house, then wear loads of bright colors. You know. Yeah. So um, let me just quickly uh, reiterate what I said. So you already know by name. You are all represented by angelic assistance. I've already talked about that. What I'm, I meant. And you're already welcome. And um, um, the fourth one is that you are already at home. You're already at home. Don't worry if it's going to be your first time. Don't worry if you have you if you if you're feeling a bit oh, I don't know what it's going to feel like. Don't worry. You're already home. If you go, you're just going home. Really, <laughs> you're just going home to see your future daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you're going home to see your daddy and uh, let me, before i forget i remember doing my first visit um when i got when i got um when i got home i got home <laughs> and dr sandy was in mid was in the middle of um his broadcast but as soon as he finished as soon as he's finished he said anastasia you know with his big hearty laugh and and he said um something like um this is pastor sunday in the flesh something like that i said welcome home he said welcome home this is your home he said welcome home this is your home and then after that he went down on his knees dr sunday went down his knees and and said <laughs> who does that i know that where i'm coming from i'm the one that's supposed to go down on my knees when i meet somebody of such stature i'm the one but i didn't even get that i didn't even get the chance he went down on his knees for me and i'm saying and i'm a big about i'm like wow wow and i can imagine i can imagine i can imagine that one day when we get to heaven that daddy god is going to get off his throne and he's going to go down on his knees for his children he's going to go down on his knees and say welcome welcome home and he's going to mention your name i can imagine i cannot prove it from the bible i haven't seen anything where it's in the bible but from the example of dr sunday i did like i can imagine that when we, we, each one of us, when we get to meet Daddy God in heaven, that he's going to get up his royal throne and he's going to go down on his knees and he's going to welcome you and say, welcome my princess daughter, your final home to be with me forever. You know, these are the images that I have been watching, seeing in the life of Dr. Sunday Alleja. I'm going to be rounded off soon because I don't want to rush this. I do pray that you are capturing the uh, the heart of Daddy God, the heart of the Father. And you know, um, I'm just going to say, <laughs> DDC says yes. Um, uh, I'm going to um, end off here because I don't want to take you guys so long. With Dr. Sunday Alleja, you just sit with him in his VIP room. It's a very relaxed, informal. It's like you know, it's like a with your dad. It's like a I don't really jump ahead of me. So there's other things I'm going to be sharing you next week. Next week that'll probably be the last one. If not, then it will be two more series. But you just sit with him in the VIP room, and you just you know you know like in with other places or maybe uh, with different ministers with a, with a pastor you, you know you'll be you'll be you'll be standing you won't even get to sit I and mean, if you're not a particular kind of person you won't even get access to me anyway and i have been i have experienced myself personally where i went to a 
certain program. I'm not going to mention any names. I went to a certain program. I knew a particular man of God, and and um, I got to let him know that um, I am here to see him. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't get access, and 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 he walked just by me. He just walked past me. I was so embarrassed, and I was so I was so uh, it was so painful because I I really really wanted to talk to him about something. And it's not, you know, I wasn't going to bug him, but I just wanted to see him and, you know, talk to him. But I didn't get, number one, I didn't get the access. Number two, you know, he just walked past me. So when I say that you have access with Dr. Sunday and that you can be yourself, it's a treasure. It's an awesome treasure. So guys, I'm going to be ending here because I don't want to, you know, take most of your time. I Let me see if anybody's got any questions. Do you have any questions come up? All right, so D says the VIP room where he's relaxed with his feet up. Yes, with his feet up. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, King Jeffrey says preachers are in a blur. They can't see you. Yeah, you know, most men of God, um, so, you know, or let me not say most men of God because then I'm making, you know, assumptions here, but some men of God, they can't see you. And, well, it is what it is. But um, Dr. Sandy Ledger is a man that reflects so much the image of god and i'm not saying he's a perfect god uh, sorry a perfect man because there's no perfect person on this earth but i'm just sharing with you the way he reflects the heart of the father you know he is indeed a father a beautiful lovely loving wonderful father he is a father that i um i cried for that i never had that that God has given to me as a gift and a, as a gift to you too. For every one of you that comes in contact with him and embraces him, he is your father too. So um, let me see uh, if there's any questions here or anything can I read here before I go. Um, <laughs> uh the king of god the queen of the says the king the, the kingdom is till eternity yes so we're going to be daddy until eternity you're going to be in his presence for a little more and i'm going to be the first one that will be under his armpit so i'm letting you guys know even those in heaven for those of you who've already gone ahead of me and you're in heaven and for those of you who are on earth let it be told that i anastasia mcdonald i am going to be the one that will be under his armpit <laughs> Under Daddy God's armpit, <laughs> a place is reserved for me. <laughs> right, let's see. Um, so, uh, thank you very much, uh, people. I haven't seen any more comments. Uh, let's have a look. Any more comments that I can read out to you? Um, uh, right, Queen Cherry says the access is only in the office. Uh, so uh, Queen Cherry is talking about you know access with with uh, certain pastors. The access is only in the office, not in their houses. So you don't see the real them. DA, DSA is so transparent that is very true. It's so transparent. What you see is what you get. You see what you get. There's no no no. There's no um, double DSA. <laughs> Let's see. Um, uh, Queen Jane says I've never known someone who's who's got so much passion for people like DSA. Same here. Queen Yuvim says he's our father. Okay, I've read one already. Um, Queen Jane says, my wish is to meet DSA and Pastor Bosse. Maybe spend some time with it and so shall be your dream come true. Your dream come true, Queen Jane, just as it was my dream as well. Um, uh, Queen Amy says, Pastor Bosse, Adelaide is one of a kind. Yes, she is indeed one of a kind. You know, to share a husband with with thousands of people, that takes a very special kind of woman. And I really celebrate Pastor Bosse. Um, uh, Queen Yvonne says, we have access by blood and the sacrifice of Jesus. Yes, we have access. What a wonder it is. Uh, who else do we have here? Uh, <laughs> uh, Queen T.Y. Morse of Pastor Boss is a very rare, a very rare breed and a beautiful woman, which I've mentioned before. She is our mother too. Yes, Pastor Boss is our mother too. Yes, 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 yes. She is our mother too. Um, 
Uh, let's see. I think that, that's it. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to stop here because it's, it's 10 to 10 to. So um, beautiful people, kings and queens, friends and family, new viewers, thank you so much for taking time out of your of your busy days, because I said, you know, Saturdays is a day that we most people catch up. So thank you so much for joining live this afternoon. As I share my life story upgrade special, I shall continue next week and um, sharing, you know, the, the lessons that I've learned about knowing and experiencing God through my best mentor, my daddy, Dr. Sunday Adelaja. Thank you so much, every one of you. Thank you. Um, this wonderful DSA family, thank you. You're all so special to me. You, you mean <laughs> every one of you has a has a place in my heart as well. Thank you for making me um, a better child of God, a better woman of God. Thank you for thank you for helping me grow, to be a better person. Every one of you is doing something unique and special in my life, and hopefully I can talk more about it. Thank you so much, Queen Maiwa, for the joy. Thank you, my queen sister Julie. So much joy, 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 so much joy. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. Good afternoon, everybody, and goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Color. <laughs> Bye, Queen Maiwa. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, Julie. <laughs> so much joy. <laughs> Bye, Queen Jane. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you've been blessed and I hope you were able to capture something about Daddy God through the life of Dr. Sandia Deleja. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>